How about that? So it ends up working out after all for the Astros, and Tony La Russa is living with home plate umpire Phil Cousy. Well, Tony doesn't have a great angle on this pitch. That ball's definitely inside, but Tony can't see that from where he is, and now he's coming out. I'm pretty sure Tony's already been ejected from this ball game. He's going to go out there now and really let Phil Cuzzy have it. And really, it's not as much that pitch as it is this whole inning. Larus has not been happy with a number of the balls and strikes called here in the bottom half of the seventh. Uh, I think you said it before, Tommy, and I agree with you. I think that the strike zone has been fairly liberal, but I think it has been on both sides. Tim McClellan, the crew chief, trying to defuse the situation, keep LaRusso away from Cuzzy, try to get him back into that third base dugout and then on up the tunnel. <laughs> well, that's because Tim McClellan's about 6'9. Well, Tony wanted to come back for more of Phil Cousin. That's a good move there by Cuzzy to just continue to get away. Obviously Tony's biggest problem is hey right now my problem isn't with you. Let me talk to the guy I have a problem with. Tony needs to work on a spin move to get around the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really agree. I don't think it's so much the ball for pitch to Lance Berkman. It's been pitches throughout the course of this ball game that they felt swung some at bats in the wrong direction. But I think the same thing could be said the other dugout as well. I'm sure there have been some pitches that Phil Garner wasn't exactly excited about, but because he has been consistent with his zone today, he's been rather large. Yeah, I think I think that's exactly right. I think it's been a big strike zone, but I think it's been consistent all day. 